Welcome everybody back to another episode of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. In the last episode, we completed Dino Mines as well as Harbor Speedway. This episode, it is finally time. We're gonna take on the big bad sorceress in her lair. But before we get started guys, if you like my content, please leave a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Let's hop right into this. Butt. Okay, so Agent 9 helps us. It's not entirely evident right now, and I can't believe I already got hit. But the Sorceress has two attacks starting off. First, she has like a fireball attack, just like that. You run out of the way. Then she has an like, electricity attack, which is the electric ball that did. And it's all fine and dandy. Out. So, Agent 9 will find some weapons and health flying in from the background, and he'll take his blaster and he'll shoot it. Now, I should also mention out, that when you get close to the source, you can whack you with a sword. I don't know why she wasn't. But she wasn't. There she goes. Just like that. Ooh, special butterfly. Look at that. Excuse me. Now, with these cannons, you only have 10 shots. Ouch. I don't know why I'm getting hit so much. I normally don't get hit. But whatever. Okay, let's hit her again. You hit her and the machine or the cannon disappears, I believe. Either that or I just don't have it. Either way, you want to keep hitting it. Ouch. Eventually, I don't think it happens yet. Oh no, it has happened. Eventually, you get different weapons too, so this is a hovercraft. Same amount of ammo as the cannon, but you can keep going until you either get hit or you run out of ammo. It's much easier in my opinion to hit the sorceress with said hovercrafts rather than just the cannons themselves. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to collect a bit more health. And then we're gonna, we're gonna hop on another weapon here. Let's see what this do. All right. Uh, they're not very fast moving, so if you come charging at you, you're probably gonna get hit. In which case, you can just jump off. It's also good to note that after you hit a little bit, you have another attack, which you just launch with a bunch more electrical balls, just like that. And there's another hovercraft in the background. So you have to take this one. Out. And that makes it so she's about halfway. What are you gonna do now? Come on, fuck off. And once she's, I guess, about halfway, you get a new weapon. Anytime. Hurrah. We get a flying saucer. Now this has unlimited ammo and unlimited time, so the only way you can get off is if you jump off or you get hit when she starts to attack. You simply either fly up above or out of the ring, or you turn to the side if she's launching a fireball. Like that. 89, if I can get some more help, please. Thank you, Sock. Ow. Why? Oh, 
Okay, back up to the That was not a good use of the flying saucer. Quiet here, guys. I'm trying to focus on the battle. And I died. Okay, we'll see you again. Anyway. guys I'm kind of back where I was maybe a little further along Ouch. okay so I've hit her three times with the flying saucers you, you just fly around when she stops to uh, start like charging up for a fireball that's probably the best time to like charge straight at her and try and hit her with some uh, magic moves or whatnot just like that and then you turn out of the way when she's about to fire Okay, so I missed. I believe she only has one hit left. Maybe. Maybe two. I think just one. I'm gonna grab some health. Just in case. Special butterfly. Major nine, if you could give me a flying top of blaze, I'd like to blast the sorcerer's away. I think that's it. Get her! Oh, get her! Get her! Ah! Oh. Agent 9 doesn't care in the background. Alright. The egg that she was using for her magic is George! George, I'm sorry. Ta da! Uh oh. She's back for more! Spyro! You've just defeated a sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in dragon shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Hmm. 
It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with him. Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoch over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoch? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoch boy? Eight laser punk? Come on now. No fair hiding. Hey, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? How many times have I told you not to taste that mousse? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh oh. Why are you looking at me like that? I am. Uh, <laughs> I've got to be going now. Toodles! Okay, guys, after you defeat the sorcerer's money bags, appears on this bridge telling you you can sell a dragon egg. That's not okay. So let's kick his butt. Okay, guys, now that we have taken care of the sorceress along with money bags, we're gonna hop right into, uh, not Sparks' level. I forgot about this, and I wanted to show this to you guys. After you beat the sorceress, this appears, and you can fly up to the top of the tallest tower, and that'll poop you out way over here. Just give me a minute. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, way over here with three one-up bottles if you want them. From here, you can fly straight back to Crystal Island. Just thought it was cool. I forgot about it, and I just wanted to give it a quick mention. Now let's hop into Sparks' level, shall we? Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs. They're meant to fight Sparks, but I don't think they're any match for him. Yes, let's enter the Sparks world. Okay. The most difficult question mark Sparks level yet? The bug factory. Right off the bat we see there are a whole bunch of bugs, but first we have a little race. We have to chase this evil 
spider looking guy around until we can get the key. Now, you can, if you want, shoot him, which you can do while charging. Kind of bump him off path a little bit, but I think it's easier. Maybe not quicker, but easier just to run around like that until you catch him. From here, I like to strafe until all the ladybugs and robots are gone. We now have a new type of spawner. It's an enemy spawner where it just moves around while it uh, spawns on you. It doesn't really directly attack you, rather it just spawns on you. Um, let's see, continuing on. Ooh, new enemy. He has worked just like the little heel looking guys did in the world level. They do have a limited range, but they are a pretty good shot. And, oh, I didn't realize that was invincibility. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Let's not waste it. Good to take out of me to just run straight into it and get a little crap. This guy. Take out this. This guy. There we go. Take out this guy. Oh, bam! Alright, now we have a power up. We have a key. We have a key. There we go. We have another key. Oh. And now we can go down. Okay, we gotta go down before we go right. Coming down there is a spawner. And right below it. Yep, we got two of these guys. That's where I kind of take out these guys. Is get up against one wall for one shot to get blocked. And do a 45 until you hit the other one. And then do the same, oh, come on. The same thing for this other guy. I guess I just don't find a need for it until we get to the boss. So, that being said, let's find the boss. So, the boss is this long tentacle dude. Anytime he sees you in his line of sight, he'll fire a shot like that. What you can do is go like that. And each time you hit him, it pretty much breaks the body segment of his. When you get him low enough health, he'll split into two guys, each can shoot a shot at you. Anytime you get in their line of sight, just like the big guy, and you just gotta take him out separately. Just like that, one gets one. One thing to note here real quick is boss. When it's split into two, it all depends on which body segment you break. Because if you break one towards the middle, then your bolt can be about the same. So if you break one towards the front or the back, one is going to be bigger and one is going to be smaller. And I think it's easier to break one towards the front or back because one is smaller and you can take it out right away. But this is Annabelle, not too tough a box. And just like that, see, we've got. We've got everything! All right, so let's continue. We'll exit.
Okay, guys, now that we have gotten... Oh, I should mention... Remember, sparks can break open treasure chests, and using the guidebook, warp you to any level you want. There you go, that's his new power-ups for collecting that egg. Ah, uh, he can break open, as he said, he can break open a treasure chest if you run by them. And if you go into the guidebook, you can now travel to any world you want by simply pressing A. Rather than actually physically having to go there. Which is nice. So, now that we've collected everything, guys, I want to head right on over to here to find that this portal is now the super bonus round. It's open. So we'll probably take that out in the next episode, guys. But if you like my content, please leave a like and a comment down below. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel while this guy gets in here. Anyways, guys, until next time, see ya!